All right, guys, what's going on? Hope you're fantastic. Um, it's Monday, August 21st. It's about 11 o'clock Eastern time. It's a late one. I was at the game tonight. Let me tell you something. I've been to a lot of Tiger games, especially this year and in the past. I've had a blast tonight. Probably the funnest game I've been to in my entire uh, life in Comerica Park. And it was a loss. Let me explain, though. Carp and Torco back-to-back in the sixth inning. Uh, they were down 2-5 to five entering the eighth. They scored three to tie it. They give up two in the ninth, so they're down 7-5. They battle back and get one across. Meadows, his major league debut, comes up with a guy on first. Two outs. Gives it a pretty good ride to right. He gets out. But, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. Really good crowd tonight. A lot of Cubs fans, granted, but really good crowd tonight. And um, I think this team has got no quitting them. Um, they play all 27 outs. A.J. Hinch preaches that. I, you see it. Um, they were dead in the water through five innings. That six sparked something in them. Torque and Carpenter go back to back. And then all of a sudden you knew that this game was going to get interesting. Even when they added on against Vasquez in the eighth, I knew they were going to come back swinging. And sure as shit, they did. Torque starts the eighth with a double. And then you get uh, Carpenter with a base hit. Um, Verlin gets out, but Baez gets that double down the line. Um, I'll tell you what, man. Baez had a terrible at bat the previous one in the eighth, and he comes to a clutch down the line. And he really didn't hit it very well. He just got lucky with the placement. But I'll tell you what, I had a, I had a fucking blast tonight in Comerica Park. If you haven't been to Comerica Park and you're from Michigan, you got to give it. I mean, tickets are cheap right now, 20 bucks. Throw 20 bucks there, go down there, man. It was a great, great night. I had a great time. I tell you what, Comerica Park is a lot of fucking fun. And, uh, you know, normally I am not this encouraging after losses. I get, you know, I get pretty devastated out of each loss. But at the same time, man, I, I see a lot of fun in this team. I do. I see a lot of fight in this team, and I see a young core of two through four. You have Riley Green, you have Spencer Torkelson, and you have uh, Kerry Carpenter. All these guys are in the future. They're going to be fantastic. Um, you even got a piece of Matty Verling, Matt Verling, in my opinion. But do potentially as well. McKinstry, we'll see what way they go on that. you got some pieces here, though. Um, and the pitching is there as well. The one critique I have with AJ is, for some reason, he went to Brisky in the ninth. I'm not saying Brisky's not good. Brisky's excellent. I like Brisky. But in that ninth inning, 5-5 five, five game, you need to go to Jason Foy there. He's your best pitcher, sinker ball pitcher. He hit, he, when they put it in play, they hit it on the ground. Um, I just think that was a mistake going to Brisky there in that situation. You could say Brisky for the 10th if you want. It goes to extras. You go to Brisky. I'm all good for that. But I just I wanted to see Foy there in the uh, top of the ninth. They didn't do it. Brisky. Granted, he did have some unluckiness. He gave up two. But, you know, the Cubs are a really good team. They're, they're fighting for a wild card spot in the NL as well. So all these games are important for them. So I get it. But, uh, man, if I see – I would have loved to see Jason Foy there or even Alex Lang. Those are your best two relievers in my opinion. Uh, preferably Jason Foley, but they went to Brisky. That's the only knock I have on tonight's game, really. The battle, they battled back several times. They were dead in the water through five innings. Um, sixth inning sparked something in them. Got the start around or got to the pen, and uh, I was at a very similar game in, against Atlanta early in the season on a Monday night as well, and they ended up winning that game in extras with the Torque uh, game winner, but uh, they just couldn't pull it off tonight, and they couldn't force extras. Uh, Meadows hit it pretty good to right, and I thought he almost I thought he hit it off the bat. He just missed it. That's an encouraging, you know, a loss, but it's, I'm encouraged by what I've seen. This team is finally hitting home runs, and you can get back to games in, in games in a hurry when you hit homers. That's what we were lacking for a while here, and finally I think we found some power here. We got, we're got we hitting some home runs. Just imagine if Bias could start hitting. My goodness. He had one good at-bat tonight, but his other at-bats were just chase sweeper sliders out of the zone, the shit we've seen all year with him. Come back and win tomorrow. You got the Cubs for two more. You have you're on a ten game homestead. You got nine left at home now on this uh, homestand here with the Cubs, Astros, and Yankees. Granted, all those teams are solid, but you're at home for the next nine still. You're eight out of the Central. You would have been seven if you won tonight. Just keep it tight the rest of the way. Just keep it tight and keep it close. Um, make it interesting in September for everyone to keep staying tuned in. Just see these guys continue to improve. I'd say Keith and Henry Millel are going to be called up here shortly as well. See some young faces. See some uh, veteran talent with Miggy. His last month here. Let's see if we can go on and run. Fuck it. 
let's just see if we can go on a run and just see what happens. Uh, being only eight games out is, I feel like, eight is a lot. Granted, you should be a lot more than eight. So, um, see what we can fucking do. Keep string some W's together. Um, like I said, they got nine left on this homestand. They took three out of four over the weekend in Cleveland. They split in Minnesota two-game series. They had two off days last week. Um, yeah, it was a Monday off day and a Thursday off day because of a rain delay. So they had two off days. Bullpen's fresh. Cubs are in town for two more. Then you got the Astros over the weekend with a day off on Thursday. The Yankees for four next week. And then you go to the White Sox. Um, Labor Day weekend. So... Next, is it Labor Day? Yeah, Labor Day. Not next weekend's not Labor Day, but the following. So I'll be back on here next Monday. Um, you guys have a great week. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Um, really appreciate it. Let's see if the Tigers can't rattle off a few here and get back in this fucking thing. Let's do it. Let's have some fun here. Lean into uh, September. Take care, guys. Have a great one.